If I asked you to go to Tallahassee, mm -hmm. what would you say? Let's do it. Let's get on the beach and have some fun and eat some food with the natives. I don't Let's think do there's it. beaches in Tallahassee, Florida. That's kind of like, that's super uh, Florida. It's, it's landlocked. But well, it's thank not, you for just crushing it's that. It's not super far from the beach. Thought, okay. It's really nice. I've been there. There's lots of trees. It, it, it's very They're pretty. Lush. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As long as I can drive one of those swamp boats, can I do that? I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing driveaway dolls. <laughs> like, what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about driveaway dolls. It's about two friends that rent a driveaway car. So that's a car that needs to be delivered to a place so you can get it for free, basically, mm -hmm. because they need it to get to another city. Mm -hmm. And they use that car to get to Tallahassee. But to little do they know, they picked up a car that wasn't meant for them. <laughs> and little did the guy that gave it to them know he gave the car to the wrong people and hence the movie <laughs> Ooh, I hope it wasn't like the cartel or the mob or something because there's some bad guys oh no so they need that car back and so it's a it's about you know it's like a chase you know what I'm saying they get they got to figure out where the girls are they got to try to catch up to them so they're called you're called a drive-away doll no, they just drive away car. But they say just threw dolls on there because it was Cause two, girls. two women. So this is rated R, hour and 24 minutes. So who was in drive away dolls? It stars Margaret Qualley as mm -hmm. Jamie, mm -hmm. uh, Geraldine Vishwa Vishwanathan as Marion. You got that one good. Because I was looking like <laughs> I know. I studied you got a little, it. but I got it. <laughs> Beanie okay. Feldstein as Suki. Okay. Her real name is Elizabeth Greer Feldstein, but her she goes okay. by Beanie. Uh, okay. Joey Slotnick, he plays one of the goons, okay. Arlick, and he's a funny goon. He kind of makes the makes the movie. One of the bogeys, okay. <laughs> yeah. C.J. Wilson is a goon, and his, he <laughs> plays Flint. Goon. He's kind of more mean. He's ready to <laughs> shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> and then Coleman Domingo. Yes, you know what? That guy's been in everything lately. Um, I've yeah. met him when he was, well, met him. From Fear the Walking Dead, and yeah. he is a piece of work on there. And lately, oh he's been in quite a, a lot quite of stuff. stuff lately. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice looking guy. He's very nice looking. Yeah, he's in a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, and he has an accent too. But um, like in The Walking Dead, you can't tell because he's using the American accent. But he's a, yeah, he's a good looking guy. He plays the chief. He's the goon's boss. Okay. And there's a few more stars in here, but I don't want to give stuff away. A little bit of surprise. Yeah, a little bit of surprise. Okay. Yeah. But you'll recognize some faces. Um, there are extra scenes. It's okay. The, the only thing with the extra scene is it's like a faint call center sound. Mm -hmm. So you can't even really tell what they're saying. Or what it... Yeah. Okay. And that's, that starts like right after the song stops with the credits. And then there's a dedication at the very end of the movie. I don't think I should say what it is because that will give away. Yeah, I say save it. Yeah. I say save it. Yeah. But I I thought this movie was all right. I thought it was one of those movies that really should have just went straight to Prime Video or to mm -hmm. Netflix or mm -hmm. something like that. I didn't feel like it has the gravitas. The silver screen. To go, yeah. Appeal. Yeah. Because I didn't see, I've I seen no trailers for this. Yeah. So I don't know. Like sometimes you'll be telling me about something. I'm like, I've not seen any trailers. So I'll go to Harkin's website and, you know, look at it and run a trailer. Yeah. But I didn't see any. And I watch commercials all the time. And I didn't see any trailers for this. My boyfriend saw the trailer and he's like, I want to see this. Have you seen the trailer? And then I watched the trailer and I was like, it looks pretty good. But I thought it was just okay. And he was, he liked it. He liked it a little bit more than I did. Mm -hmm. So as far as clappers, yeah, how many clappers would you give this? I'm going to give it two, a solid two clappers. Yeah. Then when you're talking about it, you sound about I just was like, it was okay. Didn't pop. It didn't pop. Nothing surprised you really. It, you know, it surprised me. There is a surprise twist, a little twist, <laughs> you know, twist. What, what the girls are carrying in the car. <laughs> Was a surprise, uh, and this is why yeah. we it's we already told you it's rated R, anyways. But uh, yeah, perhaps this is something you may want to know. Do you think that we should tell them not what was in the case, but the well, it's 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 just because we know how LGBTQ yes. friendly. It's, it's yes, I'm glad you said that. Really based on lesbians. The, okay. the ladies are lesbians. Mm -hmm. You know, they're mm -hmm. traveling across country. And I think that's okay to tell them beforehand yeah. because some, so you know. 
you know, there's some a couple of love scenes and stuff like that. They're lesbian love scenes. Mm -hmm. So you got some fun uh, fun facts for us, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this this is the first film that was directed by Ethan Cohen without involvement of his brother Joel Cohen. Oh, he went alone this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is just the Cole brother. Okay. <laughs> the Cole brother. You know, it's usually the, the Cole bro. brothers. Just yeah. the one bro. Okay. Cohen. I said Cole. <laughs> Cohen. Cohen. <laughs> C-O-E-N. Cohen. My mistake. Sorry. The film was originally supposed to release on September 22nd, 2023, but was delayed mm -hmm. to February 2024 due to the WGA and SAG AFRA strikes. Yep. So this is one of those casualties. Mm -hmm. that yep. I like you saying casualties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But yeah, so like I said, my recommendation is if you see it at the theater, I wouldn't spend full price. I, uh -huh. I just wouldn't. I mean, would you wait till it came out? It on was streaming? all right. So, you know, if you saw it in matinee, you know, let me know if you see it, what you think. But personally, I would just wait till it came out on streaming and uh -huh. it wasn't 1999, unless you had a whole group of friends uh -huh. and that 1999 made sense. Or Redbox. <laughs> yeah, Redbox. Red, Redbox usually takes a couple weeks after it hits a uh, streaming service, usually, sometimes. Yeah. Um, and I've noticed too, well, I'm sure a lot of people know, you got a Redbox app as well. So you can oh, um, yeah. sometimes just rent it right at home. You don't have to actually go to Redbox anymore. Yeah, you can stream through Redbox. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yep. So cool. So there you have uh, Miss Jules' review on the movie, Drive Away Dolls. Don't forget that me and Jules are on Facebook. We're on YouTube. Uh -huh. We're on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And we're on Cash App. We take donations. Anything is appreciated. Whatever you would like to give to us. You know, we go see the movies we update our equipment yeah. all that good stuff we do this just just me and her yes yeah. no nobody else we ain't got no no rich uncles or aunts or anybody that left us you know in the state or anything like that so you know anything would be appreciated and we also take requests so if there's something you want to see um it doesn't matter what genre whether it's new or old just let us know we'll shout you out on the show and we'll go ahead and review it for you all right but wait let me tell you about my shirt this oh. is not just a regular sun shirt it's not What's this going shirt on? was made for black history month we're at the okay. end of February right now. And okay. I don't know if you did check out my son's show, the Cued Up Podcast with Wait, do the it again. Up Podcast there you go. with DJ Aaron Michael. But in the beginning, he had his friend Gio on there, aka just created it. And they the sons commissioned him to make a shirt for Black History Month. Oh really? That's cool. And so this is what he made and he he used inspiration from the Martin show Let's see. lettering. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it is. That's so funny. <laughs> you can't buy this online. You have to, you can only buy it from the team shop. And my son told me he, the Lakers commissioned him to do a shirt for them as well. Wow. So, but you can't buy it online. You'd have to go to LA and get it from the team shop. From the team shop right there. You can't <laughs> yeah. even get it. Ah, oh, you think you can get it online. Yeah, I wish you could. I wish they would do that. Maybe that is so funny. Now but... you're making me think about Martin. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Gio. <laughs> Just created it. Good job. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>